What's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. And we're going to be trying something a little bit different this time around. Charles and I had a conversation. We were wondering how many strikes would it take for a katana to cut through a baseball bat or if the katana could do it at all. So, we have some really, really good examples of both of these things. This is a Louisville Slugger Ash baseball bat, basically what you see in the major leagues. And that is a Hanway Raptor Katana from Cult of Athena. And you can check out Cult of Athena in their YouTube channel. Plus, they also have a store. If you're into weapons, stuff like that, please check them out. Now, without further ado, let's destroy one or both. Of these things? Are you ready? I'm hoping just one. <laughs> Me too. I'm hoping it's this one. Yeah. All right, let's get started. All right, first up, we're going to do a 45 degree angle strike to this section of the bat here and see how deep it cuts. Okay, first strike on the katana hit here. It bounced up, hit here, and then all of that kinetic force also made the bat split here. All right, this bat's about four inches from here to here, and if we look from this angle, we can see it cut in about one to three centimeters. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's no damage to the sword whatsoever. No bands, no burrs, no nothing. I guess I had pretty good edge alignment, so I think we're gonna switch the bat around and uh, try it again. Okay, so we spin this around because it'll be a lot easier to get through this section of the bat than it will be this section of the bat, but since this is cracked, if we strike too low, it'll just finish breaking and we want to cut it. So we're going to be striking in between the break and the first cut. Well, as you can see, ash is some very, very tough material, so I guess we're going to try to hit the same spot again, and then the same spot again, until we actually have two pieces of bat. As you can see, the blade is still just fine. No bends, no burrs. Wow, ah, you see that? Yeah, We're getting close. It hit the chunk hit you in the face? Yeah, this chunk hit me in the face. It's okay, I'm okay. Don't worry. All right, we're getting there. Maybe a couple more strikes. Maybe we'll turn the bat a little bit to the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there's still no damage to this blade whatsoever. It's perfectly fine. A traditionally made katana would never be able to keep up with this much abuse. If you want your own, check the link in the description below. A little bit of wood stuck to the blade. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're getting a lot closer. I'd say we're about halfway there. Let's do it again. Hey, how's the blade? I mean, it's still straight as ever. If it's bent, I can't tell. I mean, I don't know if you can see how straight it is, but it's freaking straight. No burrs, no chips, nothing? Nope, no rolls. No, nothing. What an amazing, amazing blade. I love this sword. It's probably my favorite sword that I have. I'll kind of tilt it up a little bit so that whenever I hit yeah, it, Yeah, that's it'll... a good idea. So I have to reset my shot. No? Yeah. All right, we're about to do the fourth cut, and I think this is the one that's going to actually cut this bat in half. We'll see, though. <laughs> there it is. Wow, 
Wow, I didn't even hit it in the same spot as those other cuts. And it Did still it broke. Did it finish splitting? Yeah, I think it just still, it just broke. Oh man, that that initial split yep. finally gave way. But, I mean, we can keep going. If you hit more here, oh, cause he hit, he hit I here. Hit, yeah, I can, I can hit it again here and see if we and can then, get through that yeah, little chunk. Cause we might as well actually get through the bat with just katana strikes as opposed to like the breakage. The breakage. Yep. All right, let's do it. You can do it. So close, but look. Oh my God, I wish you guys could feel this. This cut is so, so smooth. It feels like you cut it with a circular saw and then you sanded it, like, feel it. Like the inside of a and balloon. And like smooth grit. It feels like very, very smoothly grit, smoothly sanded wood. It feels like York Sprava sanded this, it's so smooth. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. Wow. That was like butter. Almost cut my own leg off. Sorry. <laughs> so smooth. I had to look back. I wish you guys could feel it. There's no way I can get splinters from rubbing this. It's that smooth. It feels like it was sanded. Like fine grit sanded. Well, you saw it here first. The katana can definitely cut through a badass baseball bat as long as the katana is equally badass. And how is it? Well, as you can see, if you look down the blade, there's no burrs, there's no rolls on the edge, no bends or anything. This sword is perfectly fine. And that's amazing. And it's made out of 5160 spring steel. That's why it can take that much damage. And if you want your own, links in the description below to Cult of Athena. Also, you want to own this? Like, share, subscribe to the channel, and comment, I did all three, and we will sign this and send it to one lucky fan. Outside of that, if you want to see us do the exact same thing in reverse, which means we would put the katana here and then hit the katana with a baseball bat to see what will happen, all you have to do is share it with your friends so that we can get up to 2 million subscribers by the end of 2017. You do that, we'll do that. Even though Charles might cry a little. <laughs> Just a little. With another mind blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. And we will see you next time. You ready? Oh, yeah.